Hey guys, it's Tarko Cycling FPV. I just got done doing a video on the X9D Plus Access 2019 Edition transmitter, and then I got an email about the Achilles uh, module is not working, and so I was like, hey, let's figure this out. So I'm going to um, switch screens here and do it just like this and see what we got. Okay, so what happened, and I just tested one and I had the same issue, but now I think that I've got it worked out, but I don't know, we're gonna find out. So here's what the deal is. I've put, uh, put this in and uh, went to plug in the uh, battery, and now, I don't know, my luck may be that it actually comes on. Okay, so I've got power, but I've got no power to the uh, uh, module itself, right? So I'm gonna test something out here and see what happens. I'm gonna unplug this and I'm gonna hold the, um, I'm gonna hold this, uh, uh, the, the shifter here, the stick, uh, what do you call it, the menu toggle, whatever you wanna call it, joystick. I'm gonna hold that down while I plug the battery in. I'm gonna see if this fixes it, okay. Mm, so far, I don't think I've got anything working. Let me make sure here. Okay, so now I'm going to take it out and I'm going to kind of toggle it up and see if I can get anything to work now. Okay, so I don't, I don't get anything happening on this. So here's what I did, right? So I took, I actually opened this up. You can see the screws, they're right here. I took the screws out. <clears throat> and so this is what I had to do on mine to get it to come on. And I have a feeling this might be what you have to do. I don't know, but I'm, I'm kind of doing this on the fly here uh, because I did not realize that this was gonna be an issue. So now that I know it is, I'm going to try to get this corrected. I did get the first one to work, but since I, I got it and I couldn't tell you which order I uh, got it to work, I'm gonna try it again here real quick, okay? So first thing is to remove the module itself. And I'm pretty sure I unscrewed that, but yeah, I did. So now just take these little red covers off and the module should kind of just pop out. Now, what I don't know is if it was a connection, if it's not getting a full connection with the, um, with the plastic housing. So I'm gonna try it just like this. It'll be step one, right? Just take the housing off and see if that fixes it. And sure enough, there you go. So it looks like what we've got is an issue of this not getting a full connection with the plastic on, okay? Uh, make sure you've got your uh, switch set right. So right out of the box, we've got an issue with that. So let's go ahead and power that off, all right? Now, I've gotta see it again. So I'm gonna put this back on. All right now, I guess I gotta put the screws back in because I wanna mimic exactly how it sits. And it may be that we need to make a modification to the uh, housing here, the plastic housing, so that it will sit and work. Again, I'm just doing this as, I mean, like I haven't done this yet, so I'm kinda gonna find out as we go here, but my customer wrote me and I kinda felt like this is pretty important to do, so let's go ahead and see where we're at. So let me just put these screws back in so I can duplicate, gosh darn it. My little fat sausage fingers are not good with this. Um, there you go. And there's something about this that's really weird, and it's that, you know, I did notice that they've got the USB connector here, uh, so you can do your firmware updates, I guess. But it's strange because to do that, you have to take it off. To take that off, you have to break the seal. To break that seal, I guess you void a warranty. I have no idea. So my guess is that this piece, one of these two pieces goes too far, but I don't know. Let's just see what happens. So I'm going to put this back on. Now, I'm gonna put the battery back in and I'm gonna see if we get any power at all, okay? All right, and we do not have any power, there is no connection being made right now that's gonna get this thing turned on, okay? So it looks like the issue is the pins, and so to fix that, uh, I'm most likely, I'm gonna bet here that the only way to really fix it, I'm gonna see, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not throwing in the towel yet, but I am curious. So we've got no power, but we do know it works. So here, I'm gonna go grab the other one right, that I had. So here's the other one that I opened and did the same thing with. So now I've got two, one in the case, one out of the case. And if I plug this one in, there, 
Now I have this feeling it's gonna come on, and there it does, okay? But if I put the outer shell on it, right, and I don't even know if I can put it on like this. I doubt you can. Yeah, you see how it doesn't line up? I mean, you've got, it's definitely off, right? So my guess is that this is not sitting right on here. So let's go ahead and see how we fix that. All right, so if this is gonna sit like this, then it means that somewhere this, this measurement is off. Now, how is it off? Let's figure that out. So if this goes in, is it pressing on that? Yeah, you see how it goes up like that? Now, the question is, will it come on like this? And I guess not, but I can push this down. Hmm. It's almost going to sit at a weird angle if it fits, if it goes in properly here, right? Because you can see it's already kind of at a weird angle. Um, so let's see. It's very strange how this has to go. I'm not exactly too comfortable with that idea, but like this, it would actually almost, except for the, the menu stick here. It almost would work, right? Put this menu stick on, see if I can get, uh, get this to go on. Okay, so I suppose, oh stop. The problem is, is it can't get full movement out of this. So, um, it looks like the problem is the outer shell here, not lining up properly. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out what the fix would be, and I'm sure there's already, I could probably redo the, the outer shell, but this is just wrong. So, all right, so let's take that out. And now let's put this back in like this. Oh, look at that. That's what's happening. It's a pin off. Believe that. Okay, so here it is. It's setting it off one pin. It's not lining up the pins properly in place. Okay? And that's where the problem is. So, let's see how we fix that. If with this on, it's off one pin, it means that the bottom is pushing it up, right? So if it's pushing it up, let's see how we would fix that. Bear with me a second. I'm, gonna, I'm really interested to see how we're gonna fix this. So this is kind of, kind of a neat little problem to have. So let's see what we got. All right, so I know that we're getting a pin off when we put it in. So let's see how we can. How's that? There you go. Okay, so it looks to me like the best way, and now I'm gonna try it with this one, okay? So what I did was, and let's see if this is gonna work. Okay, so I'm going to, what's happening is it's missing the bottom pin, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure when I line this up, so I know you guys are can see my, me looking through the old man goggles here, but what I'm gonna do is when I line it up, I'm gonna push this in. I wanna go in from, well, here, just to make it simple and like identical to what we're working with, I'm gonna put the, the piece back on here. I'm gonna go in at this angle, right? So that I can make sure to reach the bottom pin, right? So I wanna go in at this angle and I'm gonna pop it in like that. Now let's see if we get power. There, I didn't have it pressed in all the way. So let's see what happens. Okay, oops, so that's not it. That's not the way to put it in. So let me see a different way. How about like this? 
Yep, and there you go. Okay, so I know it's a little bit of a tedious thing, but here's what I would have to say. The pins are not lining up like as you would expect them to, okay? But if you want to get this to fit, put the top pin in first. Just kind of go at an angle here and make sure you put the top pin in. Once you do that, just pop everything else in. And there you go. And I bet you now it's going to come on here. Uh, wait, I didn't do my, sorry, I didn't pop that in the way. So let me put the top pin in just like that. All right, there it is. I got the top pin in, pop that in, and now it should come on. Okay, and there it is. Okay, so you don't want to, um, you don't want to, I guess I, I didn't know this. I mean, I hadn't used these before. So you don't want to just sit here and just plug it in like this because the pins don't line up. All right, what you want to do is you want to hold your goggles here. And I mean, it doesn't seem like it's a big deal after once you get it done. Make sure you put that, kind of look at the angle here and make sure you put that first pin in that first square where it goes. And you're gonna feel some resistance here then because it's pressing down, pop it in and the power comes on. Yes, and you're good and you're done. Okay, hope that helps guys. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't even know to check that. Uh, I did read, everybody's like, oh, it doesn't come on, it doesn't come on. I guess nobody went and tried this, which I can understand. I mean, you know, you don't wanna, you want to get it, you want it to work right out of the box, and it does, I guess. You just have to make a little concession for it, but uh, I'm going to put the screws back in and get this one ready. Anyways, that's all you got to do, all right? And then once you do that, as you can see, we've got everything running perfectly on there, and we are good to go. And now you can do your firmware updates. All right, guys, if you have any questions, hit me up at targetcyclonefpv.com. Boom, there it is. Make sure to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. Make sure to follow us on Facebook. And uh, most of all, make sure to spend time with your family, guys. God bless, safe flying, and I'll see you soon. Bye.